Hey, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher, and you? Fine, thank you. What did you do today? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How was your day? Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, what, what are you doing, teacher? What did everybody do today? I asked, but nobody answered. How was your day today? <laughs> uh, today was good. It was a good day. Yeah, why? What happened? Well, what I say is that uh, as long as we are healthy, and we can do well as many things uh, as we want. That's mm -hmm. good, you know. And I'm talking did... about health. Yes. Healthy. And what did you decide to do? Um, well, you know, uh, at work, we have to do many things. Uh, uh, well, so many things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Samantha, no, it's not an obligation, but it's, it's better if you do. But if you can't, it's okay. 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 Uh, my day today. At work was was very good, uh, but in the morning I received some bad news. Mm -hmm. uh, my my classmate from the college, from school, uh, her father died yesterday. So after the class, I'm going to to the meeting the night. I don't know how do you say relación. Wake. Wake. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wake and I'm going to be with her and some other uh, partners from the from the promotion 97. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, that was uh, very bad news, but uh, the world was very good today. Okay. Okay. I think someone has the TV on in Spanish. Ernestina, is that you? Hello, teacher. Hello. Are you listening to uh, the TV, Ernestina? Yes, teacher. My song is it's uh, a, it's watch, it watch TV. Excuse okay, me, no. teacher. No, no, no. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We just put you on mute and then when you want to talk, then we unmute you. No problem. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So let's get started. We have a lot of activities and that's what we come for. So uh, the first things that we have is a little bit of review from yesterday. Yesterday, we learned different words to describe people. Do you remember the vocabulary from yesterday? We had nine new words for describing people. What were the, like the adjectives? Yes, the adjectives. Yeah. Okay. What were the nine adjectives that we learned yesterday? Egotistical. Uh, Egotistical. Mm -hmm. Inflexible. Mm -hmm. Stingy. Good. Modest. Modest. Unreliable. Unreliable. I heard temperamental. Uh huh. Sociable. Sociable. 
So bad. And supportive. Remember, and supportive. Good. Good. So we have the idea for why we have those. So we're going to start off by watching the video, okay, to make sure that it's clear for everyone in case someone didn't come yesterday. These are the words that we are talking about. To describe personal characteristics, and you'll listen to an audio program in which you'll identify the adjectives that best describe each individual. So let's get started by learning the adjectives that you see before you. I'll be making this document available so you can have it for reference. Easygoing. An easygoing person is someone who doesn't... And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each... Let me like just sharing. go right there. Okay. So let's. we have the sentences that are there. Remember yesterday, we learned the words that are in bold. Those are the words that are in black, but also we have some words that are new in the sentences. Do you remember what is brag? Number four is brag. Do you remember what is that? When you say something about yourself. Correct. You say all the things that you do or all the good things about you. That's brag, right? Okay. What about in number three? In number three, we have the word stubborn. Yesterday we learned. What is stubborn? When you change the opinion. Okay, when we change the opinion. But when we don't change, remember, when you don't change the opinion, it's stubborn. Okay. When you think that only you have the reason. Yeah, that's right, Wilbur. Many times that's the type of people that are stubborn. You're right. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have these words, I'm going to explain a little bit what we're going to do. We have those words, we're going to make little groups, we're going to have partners, and what we want to do is we're going to have just quickly, not a lot of time, but uh, just about two minutes, one minute for each person to describe a friend. Okay, so what are we going to do? Describe a friend. Tell me, tell your partner, how are they? What are they like? Okay, that is the idea. So we're gonna talk to our partners. We have exactly two minutes to do it. Let me put everything ready, just a sec. Are there any words that you would like to know to describe or any words that any adjectives that you would like that you don't know? Hablador, como que hablo mucho. Talkative. How do you write? Talkative. Talkative. Mm -hmm. Do you see it in the chat? Yes. Okay. Cut to you. Talkative. All right. Okay. If that's the only question, all right. Let's go to with our partners. Describe somebody. Remember, only 60 seconds and 60 seconds. Jose, do you have some? Okay. Yeah, we have to describe a friend using adjectives that we learned yesterday. Okay. You want to start? Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to describe my best friend. Her name is Andrea. Um, Mm, I don't know. She is a very interesting person. 
Um, she is very funny, is very talkative. And good. Okay, I want to talk about my friend. Her name is uh, Kayla and she is a nice person. She likes to talk, she is talkative. And also she sometimes is sensitive, um, but she has, a, I guess a lot of money, but sometimes she is stinky because uh, she doesn't like to share, for example, uh, uh, things It's fast, huh? Two minutes. Okay. It was fast. Yeah, yeah, it's two minutes. It's one minute each. Really fast. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness, I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you can't waste the time. No, um, eh, eh. I was talking about myself. And I have, I got nothing about Lydia. I'm sorry, Lydia. <laughs> Last... It's yeah, but it's okay. It's our first day. But that way we understand because we have a time. We only have 60 minutes, and to make sure that everyone can speak, you have to monitor your time. Just like work, you know what time you enter, you know what time you finish. You have okay. to the work in the same time. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna continue on with our other activity. We're going to listen so that we can answer the following activity. So there's a conversation that we need to listen to and then we'll be able to answer the following questions. Okay, so what questions are we going to answer? We're going to answer questions at 1.7, but to answer these questions here, we need to listen to the audio in 1.6. We want to take notes, take notes of how is the personality of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. Here we're going to choose. If you want, if you want, it's easier if I put the audio, but in you, you have the 1.7. So you are doing the exercises while we are listening. Okay, so I will share the audio and you can read the questions. Remember, open your platform and work in the platform. Okay. All right, let's do it together there. Remember, you are here and I'm going to play you the audio. Okay. Supportive her once in a while how's she doing and then what i would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual so let's listen to that audio program at this time so have you seen andrea lately yeah i see her once in a while how's she doing i've been meaning to call her well to be honest she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately what do you mean She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well... College can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. 
He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Was that okay or one more time? One more time. Okay. It's okay. It's okay for you. One more time for the other. Anybody else? One more time? Yes. One more time. Okay. Please. Well, then we check. All right. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know... She asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative. And the next day, he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Okay. So, let's take a look. Which statement best describes Andrea? What did you select? Egotistical and stingy. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And what was egotistical? When you talk too much about yourself. <laughs> Excellent. That's right. When you talk only about yourself. Good. What about you? Uh, what? Sociable and easygoing. Easygoing. Okay. All right. And what about Mr. Johnson? What is unreliable? When the unreliable. person changed the idea or opinion or decision. No. I think, I think because Mr. Johnson never, never do what he promises. That is unreliable. The person doesn't do what they promise. That's the idea of unreliable. Very good. All of those are correct. So remember, unreliable is the person that they say or they promise and they don't do. Oh, I, I call you today. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. 
Oh, no, this is the unreliable. That is the person unreliable, okay? So here we have several discussions, very good. We talked already about our friends, right? In our group, remember to put a comment right here about your friend. Remember, where you met your friend, describe as an example. Who can read the example here? My best friend is someone who is sensitive about my feelings. She's a person who is very supportive, supportive and always listen to my problems. Good. Remember, Limar, pronounce the S. Always listens. Listens. listens good. To my good, good. Okay. Everything else was correct. Now, that's it. So in, in this moment, uh, for example, we have Ivania and we have a couple other people. They already put a post. If you did not put a post, because only four people put a post, in this moment, write one complete sentence. Please remember, you need to put capital letter. You need to have the ideas, right? Okay. So here we have all the posts, right? So we take a look. Ah, here is, this was by Ivania. I met my best friend in seventh grade. Her name is Natalie. And then... Exactly. So the idea is you describe. Remember that this part, you can do this one later, but remember to put the post here. That way we don't use the time for the class for practicing. Okay. This is for your best friend. You describe your best friend. Okay. Now we're going to look at how to express likes and dislikes. Okay. So what are likes and dislikes? There are things that are good or things that are bad for you, things that you enjoy or things you don't enjoy. Here we're going to see how we're going to do it. Let's watch the short video. Hello everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes. And you'll also learn how to express neutral things. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say for example, you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday, right? So a uh, quick example. I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There, I just express the likes and dislikes. And I also want to be neutral about certain things. So in order to do that, I'm going to use expressions such as, I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So let's do the following. First, the first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is some uh, vocabulary, okay? Uh, and so let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. Okay. So because he speaks very slow, I don't like it. But okay. So the important is the vocabulary. The ones that are positive are I like it, I love it. The ones that are negative is I, the opposite. I don't like it. I don't love it, right? I can't stand it or I hate it. Those are the negatives. But the one that is neutral, that ah, me da igual, that's the I don't mind, right? I don't mind it. It's okay, the vocabulary? It's okay. okay. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So, how do we make the expression? Well, here is the grammar. We use, as an example, the subject, the verb, and it. For example, you give your opinion. I like it. That's the opinion, right? Or I love it, or I hate it, whatever it is. Subject, verb, and it. We use it. Then we use the word when, and then the complements, the subject and the verb. As an example, I like it when someone gives me a compliment. It feels good. Or I like it when my students do the homework. Woohoo! It's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Remember the important the vocabulary. The positive, I like it, I love it. The negatives, the neg I don't like it, I can't stand it, or it's not here, but I don't love it. Right? And then the neutral is, I don't mind it. 
So if we make the negative, we put the negative, the same, the positive. Instead of saying, I like it, we say the negative first. I don't like it. I don't like it when someone gives me a, plot, a compliment. I don't like it when my students do the homework, for example. That would be the negative one. In the positive, we only use this. Is that OK? Yes. OK. okay. Yes. Yes? OK, great. So now what are we going to do? We're, hang on. Let me see. Let me explain. OK. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ah, okay, Pedro, yeah, 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 no problem, Pedro. We saw the message from Pedro and the other situations. Okay, I, I was just checking. All right, so mm -hmm. take care, Pedro. Our sympathies with you. Mm -hmm. So sorry about that. Remember, Pedro's uncle is the one who died, so uh, we understand he's not in class today. So now we're going to practice with our partners. What are we going to practice with our partners? We're going to practice all of the vocabulary. You want to speak. So how much time do you have? Okay, I'm going to show you which ones we're going to do. This is from 1.11, okay? If you have your computer, if you have your platform, you see the expressions. I love it, it bothers me, I can't stand it, it makes me happy. It really upsets me, okay? Now here, these are two. I don't know why they have it like one, but there should be a space. For example, it bothers me is one expression. I don't like it is another expression, right? It embarrasses me is one expression. It doesn't bother me is a different expression. It really upsets me is one expression. And then I don't mind it is another expression. Do you understand all of these expressions? Yes, I do. It really no. upsets me. It's when you feel sad. It... No, it makes you angry. Oh, it, okay. It makes you mad. It really upsets me is it makes me mad. And bothers. What means bothers? Okay. So the expression it really or it bothers me. Sorry, in, we have two, right? We have the negative and we have the positive. It bothers me is that for me, it, uh, I don't like it. It affects me. I, it's, it's like the, like the children, the, the babies. Well, not the baby, but the children. Daddy, 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 daddy. Ay, what do you want? This, it bothers me. That's the idea. Thanks. Yeah. Are the others okay? Remember, okay, remember, I am already in knowledge check 1.11. We already did the other exercises. Only the writing you have to do at home. But the 111, we we're going to practice because this is opportunity to speak. You have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You see nine. It's not six. But nine, because remember, these are two expressions. This is one expression. This is another expression, okay? So with our partner, in 1.11, we are going to practice. We are going to make nine sentences, nine sentences. First me, then my partner. As an example, okay, I look, ah, okay, I love it. I love it when I get good grades in school. I can't stand it. I can't stand it when, um, when my wife uh, opens the refrigerator and, and walks away. For me, it's terrible. <laughs> Close the refrigerator. No, 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 she has opened, right? Pero que significa eso, I can't stand it. No lo soporto, algo así. Exactly. That's right, Limar. Okay. And of course, it makes me happy when I have money. Money, 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 money makes me happy. Okay. Like this. It's okay. We understand the activity. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. Dennis is no. Con el lapis, un big no. Mm. Ah, yes. Okay, Dennis. All right, Dennis. Good, good. Okay. Perfect. Well, where are we going to write that? You're not going to write. It's not writing activity. Is is what class? What is it? Something. Speaking activity. A speaking Speak. activity. Speaking activity. For this one, I'm going to give you more time. You are going to have four minutes. Watch your time. Watch the time. Two minutes for one partner, two minutes for the other partner. It's nine sentences. The room closed automatically. You finish or not finish in four minutes, se le cierre. Okay, como el banco. Ten tarde o no ten tarde, ah, se le cerró. Okay, so watch the time. Let's go. Ala, you okay? Do you have some problems? No, everything's okay. Okay. Okay, so everybody should be practicing. How much time is left on the breakout rooms? One minute, 27 seconds. Okay.
Uh huh. Uh huh. Keep <laughs> Spanish. Keep speaking Spanish. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Were there any expressions that you did not understand? Are there any that you say, "Oh, I don't know how to use," or "I'm not clear"? Maybe I didn't have some ideas to use the. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Or, or mm -hmm. mind the expression with mind. I I, I don't really understand. Uh, the mind is neutral. The mind is not positive, not negative. Do you like pupusas? Yes, I love. Obviously. <laughs> okay, Maritza. Do you like pizza? Yes. Okay. What if I buy you a pizza? Do you eat it? Yes, I, I, I eat it. <laughs> if I buy you pupusas, do you eat it? Yes, I eat it. So you don't mind. You don't mind pupusas and you don't mind pizza because for you, it's the same. It's, uh, okay. it's, 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 uh, neut <laughs> it's neutral. It's no neutral. Importa. Yeah, 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 more or less. Exactly. In the matter. Yeah. For example, I got... I go to drink uh, and they say, hey, do you want a Fanta or do you want a, a grape? Coca-Cola. Natalie, Natalie. Mm -hmm. Same. What did you say, Natalie? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, I know. <laughs> I can't stand Coca-Cola. I don't really? drink Coca-Cola. Really, really. In my house, we don't drink Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. My family loves Coca-Cola. Oh no, mm -hmm. my family no. We we drink we drink Pepsi before Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I don't mind. I don't mind it if you give me the killer. <laughs> if you get, uh -huh, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, so it's okay. All of the expressions. Yes, it's okay. 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 Remember, 1.11, we practice the speaking, but you have to do the writing. The writing is a knowledge check, okay? So we practice the speaking, but you have to do the knowledge check. I show you one more time to be sure. So here, we use the time for the speaking in your time for homework, only for exercises. You have to use these expressions, the ones here, correctly for this. If someone says this, how do you feel? And you put in the correct expression, okay? I did the first one. And how did it go? How and it's wrong always. I don't know how to write it, uh, the first one. Maybe. I, I, what, what did you put in the first one? I like it. I like it when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. I like it when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. Yes. Okay. But I don't know what is what what is wrong with that. Maybe the way you write it. It's usually mm. when you write something, it's it's usually the way because you forget a period, you don't have a capital letter, you forget the apostrophe, or it is usually for I, that. I have the same problem, but yeah, the, because I missed the I'm gonna period. write it here. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the problem is uh, or our spaces being worse, or maybe a comma, or maybe a point. Period, yes. That, that, happen, that happens frequently. Yes, very frequently. And it's for this, for this reason that you have to write correctly because it's part of the writing. It's like an email. If you have one letter incorrect, then the email is correct. Okay. I don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I can show I you. Have uh -huh. I, I have tried to... many ways and always wrong. I don't know what, what am I doing wrong. 
well, show us so we can help you. But here, let me show you, and then maybe you can see. All right. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Did you say, okay, I'm going to put, okay. Here is mine. Okay. I put, I love it when someone gives me you see, a compliment on my clothes because that's the situation, right? When someone gives me a compliment on my clothes, I don't have to invent, I don't have to create. I only put the topic from here and then I only copy and paste this. But what happened? Mm -hmm. But look, I, I didn't put a period. Hmm. Is it going to be wrong? Let's check. I know it's wrong. I don't understand why. Mm. I wrote everything correctly. I don't know what could be. Maybe if I put the period as an example, what happens if I put the period? Oh, now it's correct. Only for the period. What happens if I have two spaces there? Oh, let me check if I accidentally put two spaces. I know, I don't understand. Everything is correct. I have the period. The words are spelled correctly. I don't understand why. Ah, you have to go back, erase the space. It's correct. Okay, what if I don't want, I love it. I don't like, I love it. Mm, I want to try, it makes me happy, okay? I eliminate, let's try, it makes me happy, okay? It makes me and then copy and paste the compliment. It makes me happy when the same. Let's see if that's correct. Ah, it's correct too. Mm, let me try another one. It, let me try for, um, I can't stand it. Maybe, maybe it's for only for positive. Maybe it's for that. Maybe let me try that one and let's see. Mm -hmm. Now here is where you have to be careful because many times you put the apostrophe, but this is not an apostrophe. You see, it's a tilde. And sometimes in the mm. computer, depending on the computer, it looks like an apostrophe. And I only change lo uh, like for love and it accepted. But what, what, why? Like the first time I put light okay. and always was was and it was wrong. I put love and it was okay. I don't know why. Because I can say I like I like it when someone etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes, of course you can. Of course. You can say I like it. But let me ask you the question. Yes, esa opción está disponible aquí? Aparece, I like it aquí, de opciones? Ah, uh, no. Vaya, ¿y entonces de dónde lo sacaste? Ajá, ah, porque no, no se supone que es acerca, pregunta personal, pues de, ah, no, tenía que ser con la de arriba, ok, ya, ya, ya. Ah, but it's okay. Y decía, oh. bueno, y esta cosa está mala. <laughs> está bien, está bien. Ok. Está bien, está bien. Ah, pues sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. And it's important. Y por eso es que tomé el tiempo, porque todavía estamos en el primer día. Y yo vi, a veces en el chat aparece, es que, es que no me da, es que no me da, es que no puedo. Y son esas cosas. Es la plataforma, es como un examen como el país. Usted puede poner otra respuesta y puede ser correcta, pero la van a marcar mal porque esa no es una opción. Okay. También, así como yo mencioné, créeme, van a haber un montón de veces que van a ser de esas mismas cosas que se tienen que fijar. El espacio, el punto, la exclamación, la tilde, que no sea tilde, que se parece, pero no es. O una palabra, doble espacio, cualquier cosa. 
Entonces, cuando no les dé y ustedes creen y se sienten que de verdad es la respuesta correcta, tómense el momento, revísenlo. Yo tenía alguien que todo el día pasó allí de que no podía, no podía y habían invertido las palabras de people, había puesto la L y la E incorrectamente y ahí pasó todo el día y solo era que no, es que, es que yo lo hice bien, yo lo hice bien. Obvio, si estuviera bien, estuviera bien. Así que es, es importante para todos. Es una plataforma. Computadoras no comprenden algo fuera de su programación. Nosotros sabemos que sí, pero fuera de lo que están, de las opciones, no se puede. ¿Es ok? Ok. Excelente. Excelente. Ok. Good. En be careful, créeme. Créeme que a muchos le va a pasar que de repente doble espacio, de repente el punto, de repente el tilde, de, de repente, ay, dicho, yo escribí todo bien y se le olvidó la letra mayúscula, como inicia una oración correctamente. All right. So, good, good, good. All right. Let's continue then. Okay. So, now you understand that for homework, you have to complete the 1.11. Okay, now we're going to do a reading. Okay, do you like readings? No mucho. Not really. Not really, ya sabía, no mucho. Es cultural. <laughs> Not really, it's okay. I'm going to put in the WhatsApp group for those that don't have it. Porque algunos les cuesta, porque solo están usando uno y no, el teléfono no puede estar yendo a las dos cosas. Okay. So we're going to listen to the reading and read, okay? Let me share the screen with you so we can do the reading together, the first part. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll improve your reading skills by developing skills and identifying main ideas and understanding meaning from context. In this class, we'll read an article about the amazing world of apps short for applications. You'll take notes of new words and pronunciation of difficult words. I'll read the article for you, but the goal is that you'll also read it, <coughs> making sure you're pronouncing the words correctly. After reading the article, your task is to complete the short quiz related to the article. So let's get started. I'll start by reading the article. In 2010, the American Dialect Society chose app as the word of the year. App is short for application. It's a program for an electronic device like a smartphone or a tablet computer. There are more than 425,000 apps that can be downloaded for entertainment, shopping, sports, scores, and anything else you might be interested in. Apps are so popular because they can be used almost anywhere, communicating on a bus, waiting in a doctor's office, or hanging out at the mall, and all you need is your smartphone. You don't need to log into your computer or into a website. You don't have to set up your video game console. You don't even need a Wi-Fi connection. Most smartphones can hold hundreds of apps, and you can use more than one app at a time. For instance, you can use a navigation app to find a new restaurant, a dining app to look at the restaurant's menu, and a weather forecast app to decide what to wear to the restaurant, all at the same time. One of the most popular apps, Angry Birds, has been downloaded by more than 50 million people. In 2010, this app was played 200 million minutes daily by app users, or 1.2 billion hours a year. The Apple Store began selling apps in 2008 with nearly 1 billion sold. In 2010, nearly 3 billion apps were sold at an average price of $2.13. Not only are apps popular, they're also profitable. <clears throat> Doctor's office or hanging out. Now, do you see, there's a lot of vocabulary. Okay, of course, there's a lot of vocabulary, but first, are there words that you want me to pronounce? Are there words that you don't understand how to pronounce correctly? Uh, 
For instance, instance, what is that? Correct. Mean? Yes, yes. For instance, that's correct. For example. For instance, for example, you can use a navigation app. Profitable. That almost, no, almost correct, is profitable. Profitable. Yes, no profitable, profitable, profitable. Say it, please. Profitable. 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 Yes, profitable. profitable, good, excellent, excellent. And average. 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 Correct. <laughs> Only those? Teacher, what does that yes. mean, profitable? is make money profitable is have money okay mm -hmm. you're welcome rentable repeat rentable correct okay great so all of those other words are okay, right? More or less? Okay. So now we're going to go to our groups. We are going to have five minutes. We are going to talk about the article, but also we are going to answer the questions about the article. What questions are we going to answer? We're going to answer these questions. We have three questions. These are from 1.13, okay? So we are going to go to our, with our groups. We are going to answer the three questions and make sure they are clear. It's okay, the activity, speak about the article and answer the questions and make sure we understand the vocabulary. Yes? Yes. Okay, let's go.
Okay, so we have several apps, several things that we are looking at, the vocabulary that is there. Okay, everybody should be coming back in just a moment. Let's take a look. Yep, about 10 seconds. Okay, let's try to answer the questions together to make sure that it's clear for everyone. Okay, number one, according to the article, what are some common uses of apps? It says, check all that apply. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's more one or maybe more. Find a new restaurant, yes or no? Yes. 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 Weigh yourself? No. 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 Okay. No. Look at a restaurant's menu? Yes. yes. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Check the weather? Yes. Yes. Okay. Every time. All right. Remember, no for you, for the article. For the article, right? <laughs> the time in which. At the time in which the article was written, what was true about the app Angry Birds? What is true? It the first one. Done. The first one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. The last one. The last, last one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Only the first one. Only the first one. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're going to see. We're going to see. Maybe. We see. Okay. <laughs> Only. Only the first one, some people say the second one. Okay. And number three, according to the article, why are the apps so popular? The first, the first one. one. The first, number first one. one. And number two? No. 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 And number three? No. 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 Okay. Let's see. Ah, we have a mistake. Hmm. This one is not correct. Let's see if only the first one is the correct answer. Did you see? Only number one. It had been downloaded by 50 million. No, it sold for $2.13. Okay. okay. As you can see, we finished unit one today. Así que no falten clases. Se pierden un montón de información el día que falten. <laughs> okay. So. Hola. Ya pasó lista, pero yo no, yo no estuve temprano. Sí, sí, ya te, pusimos, ya te pusimos ausente, ya, ya te marcamos el cero, Ernesto. No te preocupes, José, José Pérez tomó la nota tuya, dijo, no, hombre, dámela a mí, dame los puntos a mí, me dijo. <risa> <risa> it's ok, it's ok. Siempre y cuando cumplen con la parte del de, check, por ejemplo, quedó pendiente la otra ejercicios de check. Si no lo hacen, sí les va a aparecer el cero, lo tienen que terminar. Este, toda la unidad 1, es que yo no estuve en la anterior. Toda la unidad 1, hoy la terminamos, así que el fin de semana, ya sabes. Hacerla, terminar. Okay. <risa> terminar la 1, exacto. Teacher. Right. Okay. Y, yes, Lidia. Yes, y uh, como corroborar algo más que, por ejemplo, en esta actividad me tocó con Rodrigo Callejas y sí. no está en el grupo, está el nombre, pero no está <risa> él. Estaba sola. Ajá, de yo sola que a veces la gente tiene problemas del micrófono, entonces no están. Pero cuando uh, para eso está el chat. Si me escriben, yo la puedo pasar con alguien más o puedes. Uh, ahí está, mire. Uh, ahí ahí está ahí, pero, no, pero no dijo nada en el grupo hace un momento uh, y ves. sola me dejó. Ya ve, ya ve. Primo, no pasó a mí. Yes. So, so the same thing happened to me. Yes, yes. The next time, put in the chat and we go to another one. O a veces, si uno está teniendo problemas, avisen, porque así el compañero sabe, hey, mira, eh, eh, no tengo conexión ahorita, eh, mejor vete a alguien más. Uh -huh. Ellos están, pero el micrófono no funciona, internet eh, le viene y les va, cosas así. Ok, teacher. Ok. Thank you. 
All right, guys. Have a good night. This is strange. Here you too. Good night. 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 Good